Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about are you living from paycheck to paycheck? Um, time to wash the car again, so you know this is going to be a long video and unscripted and I'll just go along and I'll say what I need to say. And if you agree, leave your comments down below. If you disagree, leave your comments down below also. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe would be nice. So, living paycheck to paycheck. With this crazy world that we're living in at the minute, there are many, many people living just on that paycheck to paycheck. No extra money. In the UK, it looks like there's going to be a summer of discontent. The amount of people going on strike and asking for a, a wage rise and they reckon by the end of the year the inflation rate will be 11 percent 11 percent wow does that eat into your monthly amount of money and of course nobody wants to give you a pay rise so therefore it puts a squeeze on people's salaries and wages and it's done this now for a good part of 12 years all you hear every year is is misery with regard to money people haven't got enough money and if you're a wealthy person then you've got plenty of money and it works because they're making lots of money out of keeping wages and salaries down so living from paycheck to paycheck i used to do that i used to be one of them people there was never enough money to last until the end of the month and then i retired and i live here and i live very comfortably on half the amount of money I used to earn in the UK and I live a far far better lifestyle here than I ever would do in the UK look at this weather beautiful weather nice and warm central heating oh, no such thing over here air conditioning yes but I'd sooner be warm than cold so one of the biggest ways to avoid living from paycheck to paycheck is maybe move from the country that you're living in now this is for people who are retired obviously people who who are working then i'm going to come onto that a little bit later on on how you can get extra money and how you can do it but this is to start off with is about people who are retired <clears throat> and i'm retired and living the dream and i've got to say i can manage on the amount of money that i manage on and I've done a couple of videos with regard to how much I live on. And it's roughly 55,000 baht a month, 1,200 pounds, 1,300 pounds at the very, very most. So this is the amount of money that I live on. And I'll put the dollars and Australian dollars on the side so you can do a, a comparison. But all I can do is, is sort of compare where it's like living in the UK compared to living here in Thailand and by putting the, the exchange rates then you can convert it, that into dollars and Australian dollars or euros or whatever your currency is. So like I said if you're of retirement age look at different countries not just Thailand there are plenty of other countries around the world where it's cheaper to live than in your home country and all I get off plenty of my subscribers as to how expensive it is living in the UK, Europe, America, Australia it's not a cheap place to live anymore now the wealthiest countries in the world aren't necessarily the best countries in the world to retire to and to live in after you've retired and you're not making any money now, as I said, there's ways and means on how you can get extra income. And I'm not a clever person. I'm not a clever person at all. But I'm like a sponge. I like to learn new things and new skills. And I always have done that. For instance, when I got the opportunity to build my own house on a self-build scheme, I had plenty of time off so I could spend many, many hours and days on the building site. And because I was there a lot, I could pick and choose who I wanted to work with. 
and building the house. I was on two self-build schemes. So the first time was for three years and the second time was almost four. So within that, that time frame, you can learn a lot of skills. And I worked with the joiners, the plumbers, the electricians, the roofers, the plasterers. And I learned plastering. It was one of the big things that I learned. And being a plasterer, again, you're always in demand. So, if you're young enough, learn a new skill. I liked the electrics as well when I was helping the electricians and I thought, wow, this is easy. That one of the easiest jobs on the building site was an electrician. It's not hard work, it's okay, a little bit more technical, but it's not hard work and it's probably one of the easiest jobs on the building site, being an electrician. Being a labourer, which is what I was when I first started, I was humping bricks, moving cement, moving concrete, all the hard work. But in my time with building houses, I did everything from putting the foundations on to putting the, the ridges on the roof. So I learned an awful lot. That's probably where I learnt my most DIY skills. So like I say, learn a skill. And if you're of a retirement age, and obviously you're not going to go working on a building site or, or learn new things like that. But when I was 42, I went back to college to learn how to be an electrician. And I got my qualifications and I've got to say, it's one of the best things I did because as an electrician, you're always in demand. And even over here, living in Thailand, I get my fair share of people asking me to do things. And I'll make a little bit of money out of it, helping people or advising people or, you know, just, just being a nice guy and helping people out. And some people give me a little bit of income for my services, if you like. But do I do it full time? No, I don't. If I did, if I could open a company and do it full time and teach people how to be an electrician, especially the Thai people, and to do with the electrical standards way, way better than what they're doing now, I'd do that. But I can't because it bureaucracy it takes a lot of effort to be able to do something like that and I'm 62 years old now and I don't need the money which is nice to say and uh, I get on and I, I can do other things with regard to earning money and I'm going to come on to that in a minute with regard to what you can do while you're here living in Thailand to make a little bit of money if you want to stop living from, let's say, your social security or your pension pension payments from month to month. There are other things you can do to do that, to make money. And it's not illegal, everything that I say, I never do anything illegal. And everything I say, you can do legally. And it works, because I've done it. Now, some of the biggest scams out there have looked into this. I did my research with regard to doing this before I did this video. And uh, did I get scammed in my research? Yes, I did. Of course I did. Because that's where it relies on people being shiny object syndrome. And I'll give you an example of a, a shiny object syndrome. And, uh, but I got scammed, but I got my money back. And I never took on a, on a project or a, or a research without people saying, there's a money back guarantee. And what these people rely on is that people don't fight to get the money back. And this particular system that I looked at, and I'm gonna explain this now, and it's sort of a warning to those people who are, are thinking about earning money online. The gurus who are saying, 
make money online. It's so easy, it's so easy to do this and make $10,000 $10, a month. Whoa. Now that's a big shiny object. But in reality, it's a pipe dream. And if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Because believe you me, nobody is going to give you the golden goose for $17. Yeah. This is what this program was. And uh, what it was, it was project $10,000 per month. I think it was project 10,000, I forget now, but it was something to do like that. Where they say within 30 days, they're, they're promised, well, no, they didn't promise. They sort of intimated that you could earn up to $10,000 a month following their program and their methods. And I read through the reams and reams and reams of, of their advert and it sounded pretty good. I've got to say, the phraseology that they put in it, thinking, oh, this is simple, you know, project $10,000 a month. And before they actually give you the price, they go through all of this other stuff. And the price of this was $17. $17 to be able to to do this so that in itself was an alarm bell nobody's going to give you all this information for $17 impossible but hey ho they said they would give a 30 day money back guarantee on this so I thought well I've got nothing to lose if they're going to give me my $17 back and I thought, well, it's got, even if I lost everything, it's worth $17 just for the information. So I took it on, $17. And then as soon as you sign up, you get bombarded with all of this other upsell. Get this, get that, get the other. And basically, it said our proven $10,000 a month is selling their products. So it's like an affiliate link. So if you sold their products, they were winning because you were selling their products and they give you a commission for that. Now they say they were earning $10,000 a month selling this product anyway. So the more I looked into it, it was their product. So you were, you were paying them to sell their products. Big ticket price. So you got a commission. And the more you sold, the more commission you got. And of course it comes in big bold letters. You know, we can't promise, that, promise you that you're gonna earn 10,000. It depends how much work you do. It was a scam. So of course I contacted their department for a refund. And guess what? You couldn't get through. It says to get in touch with their customer service department, I needed to upgrade, I needed to pay another $30 to be able to get in touch with their to get in touch with their customer services, $30 to be able to contact them. I thought I'm not going to do that. But thankfully I paid through PayPal. Now PayPal protects your payments, don't pay by credit card or don't pay by your bank card. If possible, pay by um, PayPal because they're protected payments. So when I <coughs> contacted PayPal and I said about I'm having trouble getting me money back because I can't get in touch with them, blah de blah de blah, um, they contacted the seller and within two weeks I got a full refund of my $17. Now I believe that they th because the offer is such a, a shiny object syndrome that people are going to make. How many people bother looking for their $17 back? They just write it off. But I was in the frame of mind, no, I'm not going to write it off. It's $17 and it's a scam. And so now 
that's the shiny object syndrome. So there's plenty of people on the internet saying you can make money on the internet if you buy their system or pay $300. There's one on there, I'm not going to mention a name. $300 to um, get access to their free training site f at first and then it's an upsell to you pay $300 for the information that they're going to give you. And then of course the information that they're going to give you has strings attached to it as well. So making money off the internet. People make it sound ever so easy. And there is ways and means of making money on the internet, for sure. But are you going to get that for 17 or $20? No, you're not. You're just going to get ripped off. So for those people who want to make money online, look very very carefully into it now the other scam with that with regard to making money online is that people sell the same message for hundreds of dollars because you think I'm not going to get all of that advice for $17 I'm not going to make a lot of money for $17 but if I pay a thousand dollars then the information is going to be you know better it's going to be I can use that and I'm going to make some money on it because I've paid a thousand dollars. Now that is classed as high ticket selling and some of these people say if you sell my course I'll give you up to 70% commission. So 70% commission, the people who are selling the course are selling it for 30% and you get the 70% commission. So in other words, it's only worth $300 anyway out of the $1,000 that you're going to be paying. See how it works? Sadly, there's lots of people on the internet who prey on the people who have no money. And uh, sadly, there's in this market now, where everybody's got no money, they're like lambs to the slaughter. Because everybody's chasing that extra money because they want to be able to do it so for those people who've got this far in the video I'm going to give you this it's a free ebook another free ebook I've given lots of free ebooks now all the information that I give to people here it's free I give it free freely because I got it whilst I was doing my work for the Prince's Trust and I gathered lots of information with regard to moving people on, moving jobs, looking for jobs and bettering themselves. Now it's an old e-book from 2007 I think it is, but the information it gives you is very, very valuable and it gives you different methods and different ways of doing it. And uh, it's certainly an interesting read for those people who've got this far in the video and they want to read it about making money online and I've got to say that information is power and if you've got the right information and people want that information you can make money online by selling that information now as I say I do many things I've got my life coach business that, that's been going for a year now and that's just sort of steadily improving and I give sort of all of this information for people who want to move on with their lives because I have the knowledge and I've got the skills and I've got the ability to be able to do it. I've done all sorts of things myself so uh, I deal with divorce, I deal with debt. Debt is probably the biggest one that I deal with and I provide answers to people in debt on how to get out of debt without actually going bankrupt. There's ways and means of doing everything in life and again positivity, being positive and once you take that first step it helps dramatically because at the end of the day taking that first step is very very important to being able to get yourself out of debt and then that gives you your self fulfillment that you're actually doing something about it and you're not sticking your head in the sand. So if you want any more information send me an email to this down below and I'll give you any information that you want. So from Les, retired and living the dream, till the next video.
Bye for now.